The cat jumped on Jack and scratched his face. As Jack was trying to push the cat off him, he fell, and the rubbish bin fell with him. The cat ran away, just as the back door of Frankie's house opened. Somebody came out and ran in the direction of the noise. Jack lay still on the ground behind the rubbish bin, almost too frightened to breathe. Who's out there? A voice shouted, getting closer and closer to where Jack was hiding. Jack had to think fast. He pushed the rubbish bin hard, and it rolled towards the person. What the? Crash! The person fell, his arms and legs in the air. Jack didn't wait to see who it was. He jumped up and ran away as fast as he could, stopping only once to make sure he wasn't being followed. That stupid cat, thought Jack. It's a pity I didn't manage to get the wine glass, but at least I've got the insulin needle. Happy with his discovery and the fact that he'd escaped without being caught, Jack made his way home. Susan had decided not to go to bed until Jack came home. When she heard his key in the door, she ran to meet him. Well, did you find anything? asked Susan, worried. And what's happened to your face? It's nothing. A cat scratched me, Jack replied, and showed her the bag containing the needle. I'll give this bag to William, said Susan. I'm sure he won't lose his job if he asks a forensic expert to examine these. The next morning, before Susan left for work, she phoned William and told him about the needle. Bring it to the police station, said William. I'll take it to the forensic department as soon as I can. Susan stopped at the police station on her way to work and gave William the evidence that Jack had found. I suppose you'll want to know the results as soon as possible, so I'll take them to Dr. Robinson immediately, William told her.